older. I am teacher Joyce Alba. Welcome to my virtual science classroom. Are you familiar with magnet? Have you played with it at home? What have you done with the magnet? What is your finding after doing so? What is a magnet? Correct! Magnets are objects made of magnetic materials that produce a magnetic field. Magnets pull other objects made of magnetic materials towards them. They will either attract or repel other magnets. Magnetism is an invisible force that can attract or repel certain materials, such as iron and steel. The force is called magnetic field and is created by magnets. Magnetism is the process of separating mixture which magnetically susceptible material is attracted from a mixture using a magnetic force. It is a form of separating mixtures which involves using a magnet to attract another magnetic object away from the substance it is in. Some examples of separating magnetic substances from non-magnetic substances are separating iron nails from glass chippings and separating iron paper clips from sawdust. Magnetic separators are used in factories. Materials are put on a conveyor belt that is spun by magnetic wheels. As the object moves upside down, the non-magnetic objects fall off and the magnetic ones stay on. This separation technique can also be useful in mining as it is attracted to a magnet. Moreover, magnetic separators is also used in milling. It removes metal species in wheat in order to ensure safety at work. To remove metal content from wheat to protect other machines safely. And to remove metal powder mixed in flour during milling process. And to ensure product purity. Magnetic separation is needed before finished product packaging. Magnets have lots of application in our daily life. The major 10 uses of the magnets are as follows. Number one, they are used to construct the electrical motors and the generators which convert the electrical energy into mechanical energy and vice versa. Number two, they are also in the speakers which can convert the electrical energy into sound energy. Number three, they are used in electrical belts. Number four, they are used in maglev trains. In the maglev trains, the superconducting magnets are used on the tracks on which the train floats. These types of the trains are working on the repulsion force of the magnets. Number 5, they are also used to sort out magnetic and non-magnetic substances from the scrap. Number 6, they are used in TV screens, computer screens, telephones, and in tape recorders. Number seven, they are also used by the candy or cold drink vendors to separate the metallic cup from the lots. Number eight, they are used in cranes. And number nine, they are used in the refrigerators to keep the door closed. And number 10, the most important use of the magnet is the magnetic compass, which is used to find the geographical directions. The use of magnets in medical sciences is very effective. 
We can use market therapy for the pain management without any use of the medicines. The magnets can stimulate the nerves in the human body and increase the blood circulation which carries oxygen to the tissues. The magnets are used to heal the pains and the wounds of the athletes. Doctors use the magnet to cure arthritis, gout, spondylitis, and other problems related to the nervous system. Magnetic mattress are used for relaxing the body. In MRI, we use the magnets. Magnets are used to cure the depression, headaches, and migraines. Let's see if you learned something. Answer this. Choose which of the following are magnetic. Say yes if magnetic and no if it is not. Number one, wood. Correct. Number two, tanta. Correct. Number three, iron paper clip. Correct. Number four, gold ring. Correct. Number five, nails. Correct. Number six, knife. Correct. Number seven, pencil. Correct! Number 8, Paper. Correct! Number 9, Plastic Cone. Correct! Number 10, 5 Peso Coin. another science virtual class. This is Teacher Joyce Alba. Stay healthy and safe. God bless. Bye!